Ja, nu är det alltså dags för Jamie Hopkatt att eh, säga adjö till ÖFK efter åtta härliga, underbara år. Och Lasse Landin, hur, hur gick det till när ni hittade Jamie Hopkatt där i England? Det var, Graham hade dragit ihop ett, ja, som en träningsdag med 25-30 unga, lovande fotbollsspelare. Jag var med honom och så var det en kompis till Graham som hette James Ellis. Och vi var på träningsanläggningen till Warwick University, ligger utanför Birmingham. Och bland de här 25-30 så var det några som utmärkte sig lite extra och en av dem det var Jamie. Och... Ja, och därifrån så blev det då. Graham erbjöd honom ett, ja, ungefär som ett lärlingskontrakt med ÖFK. Och det här var i december 2011 och februari 2012 då kom Jamie till Östersund. Och då hade vi precis vunnit Division 2, vad jag förstår. Ja, vad hade vi vunnit Division 2 Norrland då, och skulle ju debutera Division 1. Då. Och vi ville ju högre upp. Hade ju inte så där jättemycket pengar. Så det gäller ju att hitta unga lovande spelare som inte kostade så mycket. Och Jamie då var ju en sån spelare. Hur var han då som fotbollsspelare när, när ni hittade honom? Han, var, han påminner ju väldigt mycket om hur han spelar nu. Han var ju väldigt rörlig. Han uh, hade en förmåga att komma förbi sina mot, motståndare. Så, ja, han gled liksom förbi dem väldigt nära. Uh, och kunde kunde hantera bollen i fart. Och, ja, han var ju liksom inte en sån här målskytt som sköt hårdast och så, men han var duktig på att bara slinka mellan och, och sätta bollarna vid sidan av, av målvakten. Var ni som eh, i tjurenfärden han gick runt där och tittade med era höga hattar och skrek honom ska vi ha? Ja, lite grann så var det Nej, utan eh, det var ju Graham och James som skötte mest det, det sportsliga. Jag var med och filmade lite grann och och tittade naturligtvis också och hade lite åsikter. Sen var jag med och presenterade klubben och Östersund för de här grabbarna. Men lite grann var det ju så. Och det var ju flera som var jätteduktiga i, i det här gänget. Men det var ju Jamie då som fastnade. Det var en lång tid sedan nu. Jag tror att det var sju år sedan. Så det var... Det höll en trial dag i England. 22 players. Och... I thought I'd give myself a chance and go down to it and luckily enough I managed to score a hat-trick on that game and uh, yeah so it was a great day for me and that's how uh, it all started. When when you went there did you know uh, which club it was there and look at you? Uh, no I didn't know the club uh, I just knew that the manager was Graham uh, so that's why i went to the trial because I knew the manager, but the club or I didn't know, I didn't really know many teams in out of England, uh, especially in Scandinavia. So it was all new to me. And you shoot Sisterson? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, after the trial, it went really well. And and then Graham and Lassa obviously showed me a lot about the club. And uh, after I spoke with them, it, 20 20 30 minutes I was sold and I couldn't wait to get over here and uh, start my new uh, professional career yeah en fantastisk spelare eh, som sköt upp oss i allsvenskan kom ihåg eh, han är, han har gjort väldigt många viktiga mål för för klubben och han är en riktig legend så det är tråkigt att han lämnar men vi önskar han all lycka eh, det är han värd Jimmy Upgott the first time I saw Jimmy was at uh, Upper Island And uh, me and Azik Shaz, you know, because by then we were living in England, so we are used to English people. So when I first met him at Upperland, we went to him and then we start talking. And and I think if you get to know him, he's a very calm guy. He's like a good guy and like he's so nice to people. And uh, people that don't know him don't think he is that kind of person, but he is so nice guy. And and uh, I'm gonna miss him a lot, you know, because I've been with him for for, for a long time and. We've come so far in, uh, in this team and uh, I'm going to miss him a lot and uh, I hope the club is going to miss him a lot as well because he has done a lot for, for this club and and yeah, it's, it's very sad that he's leaving us and uh, for me personally, he's one of my best friends in uh, OFCO, you know, so it's very sad. That's why I can say that it's very sad that I'm, I'm going to miss him but I'll try my best to keep in touch with him every, every day when when you leave. So hopefully we'll keep our friendship for a long time. So yeah, 
But Jamie is a good guy, and I will always say to people that get to know people, and then you know how people behave and stuff, and you know Jamie. So, yeah. Before you came here seven years ago, have you been in Sweden before? No, no, it was my uh, first time, so I haven't, I never visited Scandinavia, so it was my first time in Sweden. Uh, didn't know much about Sweden, probably uh, that it was famous for the women, that was it, that's all I knew. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all many people know in England about Sweden, yeah. But you arrived in the middle of the winter, Yeah. dark, uh, cold. I remember 19, leaving my mum and dad at the airport, you know, crying. Uh, it was the first <laughs> time leaving them and, you know, I turned up to Ossund Airport. Uh, a guy called Bengt, who used to work at the club, picked me up and, you know, it was just full of white white snow and I was just like, oof, this is a, <laughs> this is a shock, you know. I didn't have a very good winter coat or anything like that, so, and I went to a, a little apartment and... Yeah, it was a, a big shock to me, yeah. And, the, and then you thought, should I stay here? <laughs> uh, yeah, you obviously have them thoughts, but as soon as I got into the club and how welcome they made me and, you know, there was other English guys, you know, I, I settled in pretty quickly and, uh, yeah, it was it was good times. Aron, what can we say about the man who has been here in eight years, Jamie Hopkatt? What have you to say about him? Uh, han får väl klassas som en legend här i Östersund, tycker jag. Eh, jag har ju spelat med honom i eh, fem säsonger. Han var ju den som gjorde det avgörande målet när vi tog oss upp till Allsvenskan. Eh, vi har väldigt många fina minnen ihop och alltså, han har gjort väldigt många viktiga mål för den här klubben. Så eh, jag skulle säga att han är en legend här. Då, ja, han kommer vara saknad. Hur är han i omklädningsrummet? Han säger inte särskilt mycket va? Nej, han låter eh, spelet tala. Nej, men alltså, när man lär känna honom i början kan man tycka att han kanske är lite mer tillbakadragen. Men sen när man känner honom så, så vet man att han är, han är precis som alla andra. Så. Nu när han lämnar då, hur känns det? Ja, jag har inte tänkt på det som han är fortfarande här. Jag såg honom nyss så, så jag kan inte riktigt ja, svara på den frågan. Men det är klart det kommer bli, det kommer bli tråkigt. Det är ju en person man har sett varje dag i fem år nästan. Och en lagkamrat, en vän och sen... Ja. Men det är ju så i fotboll. Spelare kommer och går och... Så det är en del av, eh, av vårt yrke. Ja, han eh, blev jävligt arg när han förlorade kortspel. Han märkte nu här på senare år. <laughs> eh, nej, fan. Vilken hela karriär han har i ÖFK. Eh, kom väl från England när eh, klubben låg i Division 1. Vart med på hela resan. Var, var grym i Superettan. Eh, minns jag kollade honom match på tv. Eh, det året han gick upp. Och sen hade han... Jävla oflytt när han bröt benet i premiären där 2016 var det väl. Eh, fantastisk spelare. Eh, betydde otroligt mycket för, för den här klubben. Så att eh, han förtjänar alla hyllningar han kan få. Han ska bara bättre på sitt kortspel lite. At that time uh, Östersund just uh, advanced to Super 1. Uh, no, no, to Division 1. Yeah, Division 1. Division 1. Yeah. And uh, you make a hell of a goal there. Yeah, obviously in uh, Division One, it was my first season. The club just coming back, they just got promoted to Division One, so it was uh, really important for them. Uh, and yeah, I managed to get promotion in my first first season. And uh, I remember I scored a crucial goal against Vasalund to set up the the last game against Sirius, mm -hmm. where we had to win and we had to, we won one nil. And it was I remember the bus back to Uppsala. It was. A memory I'll never forget, and all the fans waiting for us. At I think I can't remember the place, but it was in between Uppsala and Östersund, yeah. and it was uh, it was amazing. Yeah. And then uh, you have lots of memories during the time here. Uh, you did the goal that take us to Allsvenskan against Tyrianska. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I've got a lot of good memories. It's hard to pick, uh, but there's a few that stand out. Uh, I think what what you mentioned then the the goal against uh, Syrianska was was one nil down. I always remember I missed a big chance in the first half, and you know it was uh, you think is it going to happen? And then Brewer played one of his passes that he always played, and I managed to score. And uh, that feeling was unbelievable. I I think that was one of the 
biggest uh, like moments in the club and the reaction that we all felt as players when we got back to the city was just unbelievable. Uh, and then some other moments, winning the Swedish Cup was huge for the club. Uh, and home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, we to win four 0 at home, and I think it was a, obviously the first major major honour for the club, and that led us into Europe, which gave us some magical moments. Uh, the Galatasaray was obviously a special game for the team and myself and, and personally. And the, yeah. the goal you did there. Yeah. Obviously, that was that was special. I had my mum and dad in the audience, and for them to witness that, it was yeah, it was amazing. And and then to the Pout game stands out as well. You know, two three one down, having to win two nil against a, a massive European club, and just when the game started and the atmosphere, you knew that it was it was going to happen. And I remember winning two nil and just qualifying for the group stage. Just sounds crazy we're talking about it now and yeah to finish the journey of that in my home country was just extra special and you know to uh, finish it with a win at the Emirates was I think it'll be remembered forever in Ostersund yeah you can tell the stories about that for your grandchildren yeah exactly I, I will you know uh, I think my mum and dad recorded the game on uh Skybox, so that will always be there for <laughs> to show our friends and family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you're leaving Östersund. What will happen with you now? Uh, yeah, obviously uh, it's time for a new a new chapter for me and new challenge. And uh, as any footballer, you know, at this stage I'm out of contract, so I have to see what options I have out there and uh, choose which one's best for me. But I'm uh, pretty open to a, a lot of things and. Uh, I'm ready to step up to the new challenge and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hungry for more success. Mm. Uh, when you're leaving now, uh, what will you miss in Östersund, the town of Östersund? Uh, I think I'll miss uh, the people and the the fans and just how they, when I first come here, you know, ever since I got into Östersund, it's a really small place to live but everyone's so kind and uh, such nice people here and I think I'll miss that environment and uh, I'll always I'll always be back here visiting and because I have family here and stuff like that so uh, it's a special place in my uh, in my heart and uh, I've just got good memories about this place and it's it's been a, a lovely place to grow up as a as a person yeah Mm -hmm. uh, what will you miss in the club, Östersunds FK? Uh, I'll probably uh, miss, first of all, miss the breakfast because uh, Alan and Judith do one hell of a job every morning and uh, yeah, that's amazing. And then just just the, the guys that I've known for a long time here, my, my friends and some of the staff that have uh, been with me a long time, I'll, I'll miss them huge amounts. Uh, so it's yeah, it's it's all always difficult uh, leaving good people behind, but uh, I'll keep in touch with the close ones, and that's what matters. Mm -hmm. What can you say to the fans? Uh, yeah, obviously, what they've done for me uh, is just amazing, and I'll never forget all the support they've given me. You know, since I got here, uh, they've always I've, I hear their the songs on the in the stand singing my name and I'll never forget that you know they've given me so much support in the good times and the bad times and uh, I'm forever grateful and you know I'll miss I'll miss the fans of Ostersund for sure and hopefully you never know in football one day uh, I might return so but I uh, wish the fans good luck and just to keep on supporting the team because you know they need them yeah Thank you very no much, problem. Jamie, for Thank all you. these years. It has been a, a hell of a journey. It has, and uh, I'll remember it forever, yeah. Thanks. Jim, I just wanted to uh, wish you all the best in your new club, and uh, I just wanted to give you a personal message before you leave. And, uh, you know, it's been a pleasure playing with you these couple of years, but before you leave, I just got to tell you, you're not going to win the Fantasy Premier League this year. I'm coming for you, bro. <laughs>